Hey guys, I'm back. It is March. I don't know the second week of March. I don't know the exact date. And today is a pretty warm day. As, as you can see, it's 82 degrees outside. And it's been, it was June, now it's March. It's been roughly about 10 months. And I'm coming back to give my 10 month follow up update verdict whatever you want to call it on the bypass of the evaporator uh, temperature sensor bypass that I did as you recall in the glove compartment um, I removed the well tapped into the harness that goes all the way back to the firewall to connect with the evaporate evaporator temperature sensor uh, as I, I told you before, I had got a quote. The part is roughly $24 was the cost of the part. And labor was about $940, if I remember correctly. And um, the labor actually come from the fact that the whole front dashboard was going to have to be removed in order to do it. But I did that bypass. It took uh, all but 10 minutes to do it. And I'm coming back to give a review on it. Um, it's almost been a year. And it's not like this air condition was only used from June until September. Uh, I do live in Mississippi. And we have a very, very mild um, winters. And this winter was probably warmer than most winters. So I've actually have continued to use my air condition ever since June. And haven't had any problems with it. The air conditioner has worked perfectly. The, air, the whenever it needs to, the compressor uh, engage and it runs. Now I will say the only thing that I have noticed is sometime on the highway or on days where it's not just super hot, uh, the refrigerant lines, the AC lines, sometimes freeze up. Not freeze up bad, but begin to get some frost on and a little ice. And I don't know if it comes from the bypassing of the evaporator sensor, a temperature sensor, um, or is it some other malfunction that's going on with my air condition? But um, I, I found that out when I had, uh, it was a fairly warm day, maybe 65 degrees. It was sunny, so it was kind of hot, hot in the car. And I turned on my air condition and I, I made a stop at a gas station and decided to check my oil. And that's when I noticed it. So uh, what I do periodically on days that is just not super hot and I'm running my air condition, uh, I run it for like 30 minutes. If I'm driving continuous for 30 minutes or longer, um, I would just cut my, air, I cut my air condition off for maybe five minutes. And uh, once you cut it off for five minutes, the heat from the engine uh, would definitely melt in the ice that's going on. Uh, but if, if you've done the, uh, the bypass on your vehicle, uh, check that and see, and, and in, in the comments, let me know whether that is a problem that you're having or not. Uh, to be honest, I really don't think it's coming from that. I think it's probably something that's going on with my air condition. But guys, um, the verdict is in on the bypass of the evaporator temperature sensor. It works great. Um, it saves you over $900 in labor costs, and uh, anybody can do it. Until next time. And also subscribe and like, please.